Happy Valentine's Day. You know, ever since I met chef turned reporter Joshua Robinson, I've been asking him, please help me cook, help me learn how to cook. So last hour, we started simple, a really nice, easy pasta dish. This hour, however, something a little bit more complex, surf and turf. For yeah, Valentine's for Valentine's Day. Day, we have a lot of these intimidating dishes. Surf and turf is the one that you said is the one that you would love to cook for your husband, Jay. So we tackled it ourselves. And here is the look at how to make a surf and turf a little easier than you think it might be. Surf and turf, a little scary. There really are some keys to make it a lot easier than a lot of people think, and that's kind of my goal today. We've got our potatoes ready to go. Mm -hmm. We're gonna steam up some green beans so you'll have a nice, just kind of well-rounded plate. Perfect. That you can serve to Jay on Valentine's Day. Yay. My favorite compound butter, I like to just do dill and lemon zest. How does Jay like his steaks? Medium rare. How do you like your steaks? Medium rare. Perfect. We're gonna season it by hand. All we're gonna use is salt and pepper. A lot of people are worried that they're gonna over season it. That's really hard to do. You want to be able to feel that kind of gristle, like sandpapery mm. feeling across the whole thing. So when you get these lobster tails, you wanna use shears like this to cut through the top part of the shell, separate the meat. Uh -huh. See what I mean here? You can just push the meat up through. It does take a little bit of time, but it's not like I'm doing anything that's super advanced here. I'm just making sure to take my time. Can I? Oh, you're adventurous. Try it? Okay, she's feeling adventurous. Let's do, let's Go right try ahead. This. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh gosh, Jay's gonna be eating shell. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? You want to get this sear for about a minute and a half on each side. We're gonna take it and we're gonna put it in the oven at 400 degrees, five to seven minutes. A little bit of that right here in the middle. Once the steaks have been cooking for about five minutes, we're gonna put these in the oven for about eight minutes. Steak has been in there for about seven minutes total. Wrap them up kind of loose. And now the moment of truth. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Looks gorgeous. Yeah. Everything timed out properly. I think that I can possibly do this. Beautiful. And for a thick steak. My <laughs> biggest takeaway is that simple is better. Mm -hmm. And the timing is always what makes me nervous. That my no. steak is going to be done and the lobster's not or vice versa. This is, Lucy's ready to eat too. <laughs>